JoJ Smith here with another LEGO Star Wars 2013 Summer Set Review. And this one is on the Republic Gunship. Set number is 75021, age 9 to 14. Has 1,175 pieces and is 110 rounds or $120. So, straight away, I just want to say, definitely, without any question in my mind, even if you like the originals, this is definitely well worth it, you know. Disregarding, like, the pieces for the price, which in itself is brilliant, but dis disregarding that, just everything about this, I love it so much. I mean, well, no, I love all gunships. I mean, like, everything, you just need this set. This, and, like, the HTE, and a few other things, you know, you just need to get them right. I mean, it's just, there's no question. This is the third variant of the Republic gunship we have got. Uh, the last one was a Clone Wars one. Clone Wars one. Unfortunately, I haven't got either with me. Actually, I actually haven't got. I just haven't got either. But um, <laughs> the really the big difference between this one and the last one is the fact it's got these ball turrets and it the door doesn't fully close. Like it doesn't fully close the gap. But I'll go into that in a minute. So you definitely got to get this set without any question in my mind. Definitely well worth it. I know it is very expensive. I mean, no, well yeah, it is very expensive. For the amount of pieces, it's not expensive at all. However, it is m more expensive than we've had previous gunships. I think the previous one was like £80 or something like that. So I don't know why this one's more expensive when there wasn't much difference in pieces, actually. But anyway, we're going to get into it. Okay, first I just want to say we do get a brick separator. Uh, you know, we haven't seen this since the, like, the winter line. Nothing more to say about that, really. Just, you know, good old brick separator. Okay, first thing we have... Padawan Anakin Skywalker. And I don't think we've got this guy for... Hang on, just, this is my light. I just dropped Darth Maul, Darth Maul on the floor, but okay. Um, I don't think we've got this figure for some time, actually. You know, like quite a few years since, again, like the 2002 time, 2003 time. We've probably got a Padawan. The way you can tell he's a Padawan is that he does have that... um On his chest there, like that sort of hair piece attached to his hair, which Padawans do. I don't really know why they do that. I mean, obviously, it's about the paddle, but I don't know why. Anyway. Um, we're going to go to legs first. It's maybe hard to see, but his legs are actually more brown. Yeah? But he does have printing on them, like a sort of cape thing that he wears. Is It's not black, but it's dark brown. It's a lot dark brown. Same sort of shade as his torso. Yeah. Under the torso. Obviously, this is just really all his belt and whatever, whatever he has on his belt. Mm -hmm. His arms are slightly lighter brown, like his legs. However, his torso is darker brown to fit with the actual printing. I don't know why he, <laughs> it's kind of print over, but that thing is white there, when it should be his neck color. <laughs> I know it's only a small thing, but you know. There you go. Is that back printing? Actually, the printing is quite nice, actually. That's very cool. He goes around his belt and everything. He does have a two-sided face, but first we're going to go on the hair. Hair is nothing particularly special. Same sort of one we got in um, Hawkeye in the Avenger sets, and I can't think of someone else. Oh, yeah, Superman. That's how I was thinking of. Except, obviously, in a different colour, more ginger. Slightly darker than Ron Weasley's, though, if you collect that. He does have a two-sided face. Funny enough, without his hair, his face actually looks a bit older than he actually is. Because I think, by this point, he's probably, like, you know, 20 or something at this point. Like that. And he does have his more, you know, we have to go back for Padme look. You know, we have to save her. Can't just leave her. What would she do if you position? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I was just losing myself there. He does come with a green lightsaber, which is actually quite accurate. More accurate than I thought it'd be. Because uh, Lego Boy was skeptical, like said, he thought he, had, he always has a blue lightsaber. He does. He had a blue lightsaber. Basically, um, in the uh, like in the droid factory of him and Padme were, he got his lightsaber cut in half by one of the machines, which is a bit like the hilt. I mean, obviously not the actual blade, <laughs> uh, which was a bit unfortunate. So, he didn't have a lightsaber in the actual Jedi battle. When the Jedi came, like in the big battle, 
near the end where the gunships came down. Uh, one of the Jedi's threw him another lightsaber, and obviously that lightsaber was green. He just threw him a random lightsaber. Didn't matter. So that's Padawan Anakin. Very nice, very rare figure. However, nonetheless, I think the Episode 3 version is actually better. Next one we have, we have a new Obi-Wan. Not much to say about him, though. He's very similar to the Episode 3 version we got in Je Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. Except, obviously, his long hair, which does go down. And once again, we have only really seen his long hair in the in his Starfighter, like in 2002. So, yeah, just long hair, like so. Not much to it. Fairly basic, you know. Okie dokie. He does have a uh, tall sprinting on the vest. Pretty basic. I once again think the episode 3 version is better and you should really should use him in mocks and things rather than this one. Very cool. He, that, by the way, that's there's no different coloration in his legs. That is just like lines, just printing. That, but it's no different colour. It's just literally just black lines. Their colour has not changed at all. Not that it should. But, although he does wear brown boots. But obviously Lego couldn't... There you go, this is his printing. Uh, he does come with a blue lightsaber. Face printing. Yeah, just his general. If you want to look. You know, in the middle of action. And that's his sort of angry face. I'm not sure that face is really sort of like his... I don't know. Angry Count Dooku face? I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. And there you go, everyone. I prefer the Episode 3 version, as I said. But nonetheless, he is an Episode 2 version. So if you want to recreate Episode 2, and we'll do a whole stop motion about Battle Genosis, you know, this set is going to be very vulnerable. Next one we get really is, you know, one of the most unique. We get Padme with the scratches on her backs from that rat, cat, dog thingy. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Um, the thing that scratches her back, which is, you know, unfortunate. That's not nice. And we do, Lego has done that, so I thank you, Lego, for doing that. Also, one of her arms is flesh. I'm not sure if... This was ac I'm not sure this is accurate, and one of her arms is like her clothing. I'm not entirely sure if this is accurate. Maybe it is. So that's really the biggest printing, like most main printing on her. A lot of people mention this. That's cool. As I said, you know, one arm's meant to be flesh, and the other's not. That's her torso printing. Very cool. I don't know what that is really. It just looks like a collar. I don't know what it is really. Uh, the printing on her face is very detailed indeed. You've got like everything, all the little things, just everything about it. Very nice. Two sided face. This is her happier face. I like to use this face, which is more just normal, happy. Like just normal face. This is like a really happy face. Don't know when she's in the film. She's really happy. I don't know when this happened. But. That's her. Obviously her hair. Sort of done the bun. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think there's a new piece. But it might be a new piece for Lego. Her hair. I'm not entirely sure. I'll check that. No printing on her legs. Just plain white. I don't think. What they could do. And she gets no blaster. Nothing to say about that. And yeah. On to the next two. We do get some clone troopers, which is nice. First, we have a clone trooper captain. Yeah. It's basically the same as a clone trooper sergeant or commander, except in red. Uh, nothing to say about that, really. He does have red arms. It's just like the clone trooper sergeant, except in red. It's just those four, five, no, four, yeah, dots. Signifying he's a captain. Cool. I really do like this figure though. Even though, you know, it's the same except just in red. I, I still do really like this. Very useful. He comes with a normal face. That we've got. That. I do like that. And obviously it comes the new Lego DC-15. Which is just the rifle. With the, uh, like, 
this piece to signify that it's trying to be more DC friendly. Pretty basic, however, it definitely works. I definitely do love this figure. Definitely very useful. Glad I could put them in there. Uh, I wish there was another normal clone trooper, like one of these guys, um, in it, because, well, just because it'd been nice, but, you know, whatever. We do get one pilot. This one, this one I don't understand. Sometimes Lego does these things when, like, because clearly this set has two cockpits for two pilots. So this is what I don't understand. In some sets, Lego gives them less things than they need. Because two cockpits, how do you only get one pilot? And yes, you do get other figures, but nonetheless, you're meant to have two pilots. You know, so it's kind of annoying. Everything's the same as the normal trooper, except I was the helmet in this. I just get it's like it's actually slightly more detailed than the pilot one we got in the Clone Wars. This piece, if I can find one, can I find one? Yes. Oh no, <laughs> I find one. I, I drop him. Okay, there we go. That's this chest piece is a lot more cartoonish. To this one, you can see. Yeah, torso there is exactly the same. Um, the only complaint I have is that these pilots shouldn't have the fin. I, d I doubt Lego was going to make a whole new mould just to get rid of the, the fin. But, you know, nonetheless, it would be nice. Because they're not meant to have it. It's meant to be all flattened down. And the tube's meant to come out the back of their helmet. Do this. So, that would have been nice. As you see, still got the Republic symbols on the top. There's red. I do very much like this figure. Definitely a much better pilot than the Clone Wars version. A lot more realistic. I really love this figure. I don't know what this is. I think it's supposed to be tubes, actually. Like the tubes. Because obviously he's a pilot, you have to be prepared if he has to bail out. Okie dokie. Yeah. Um... On to the next two, we, get, we do get again, like the homie spider droid, we get two uh, super battle droids. Again, nothing to say about them. Check out my other reviews if you want to see a proper detailed look at them. Nothing to say about them. Same old, same old. Yeah. Okay, so on to the actual thing. Oh, it's just... Oh, what is there to say? First of all, I want to point out that, yes, you may be thinking, well, the Clone Wars one had two doors or whatever, so it can close. Because obviously this can go in space, because it's got like a big hole here. You know, everyone gets sucked out. Um, yes, but apparently on Wikipedia it says that, uh, by the way, Wikipedia, not Wikipedia. On Wikipedia it says that there are two different types of gunship. There's obviously the ground assault gunship, which is this one. Because obviously, when they're in the atmosphere, they don't need doors because they don't have to worry about getting sucked out. Um, and then, obviously, the space one, which, you know, they use for transporting, well, troops across space. Which does have the two doors. Um, so that's why this one doesn't. We did see, however, in Republic Commandos, by the way, the game, and, in fact, the second battle of Geonosis in the Clone Wars, that this had two doors, so it could close fully. However, it also had the laser turret. So I don't know what that's about. We'll have to find out. Um, <laughs> yeah. This is actually my first ever gunship. I know it's terrible. But I certainly do love it. You know, it's just everything about it. Personally, if I had to weigh it up, which one's better? You know, this one or the 2008 one? Like, if you're in a brick and can said, which one should I get out of all the gunships? Eh, it depends what you want, really. I mean, if you want, you know, to do things where you obviously want the doors. I mean, really, what I recommend is getting this gunship... And then getting the pieces so you can attach it, elongate it. Because if you've got another like door like this and attached it sort of inside, then you could sort of like fold this door over this door and then fold this door back. Yeah. And obviously we show inside this door does just completely fold like so. Uh, on the back, I'm not sure if this is actual feature or just coincidental. But you can pull this, and push it in, and, you know, it's just a simple mechanism, yeah, oh, oh, gosh, obviously it doesn't close the entire way, as far as it goes, it's a fair bit of room left, 
It has two crates on either side. However, it doesn't come with any extra features. But you can just put, like, I suppose, antennas or whatever in there. Sorry, the light isn't really going in there, but I think you can guess what is in there, what you can put in there. And that's on the same on the other side as well. There's a, there's a fair amount of stickers, not that many for a set of sides. That's a sticker. That's all your public symbol. Those two are stickers and things. Funny enough, in the... Oh, yeah, that's also a sticker there. Uh, in the two old we got public, Republic gunships, we got a big piece here, which you probably know, like, the same as that piece. I'm not showing it very well, but the same as that piece. And obviously you could put a sticker on that of, like, you know, I don't know, a tree leck or a female storm or something funny like that. This one, however, they've decided not to do that, Lego. I don't know why they really didn't, they did decide not to do that. Maybe because there wouldn't be enough space and they'd have to make it longer. Or I don't know why they did that, but they haven't. They decided to put these two pieces together to do that. Uh, do I like that more? Eh, I found the stickers kind of funny. So, eh, I don't know. Anyway, so you can just open this up. It's the same mechanism, though. Before, in the old gunship, we got a command center, which... Could like take out mobile command center which wasn't actually accurate but we just went with it anyway today we have a gun rack or missile rack flick fly missile rack by the way i think they they've changed the flick fly missiles very light slightly because obviously the flick fly missiles with the thing cone piece on the end however now they've they're starting to put on like the stub pieces in between that different colored you know obviously like a blue stud piece and a green stud piece Maybe a bit more art. And that easily... Hang on. So I'm trying to adjust my light here. I can't do this with one hand. Can you see inside there? You can't see inside there at all. Maybe if I... That didn't help at all. Okay, maybe that's, this is just a slide-in thing. It's just plates, you know. You can't see that. Never mind. Um, not very professional, but okay. So, oh yeah, by the way, it does have a handle up here. Handle that can easily go. Oh gosh. This view is not going brilliantly. Uh, if you can see down there. Oh my gosh. Would you just please. Okay. The handle. If you can see that thing, see it moving? Yeah, so the handle does come up. Like so, in actual fact, oh, I'm trying to adjust my light, it's ridiculous, I can't even do it. In actual fact, this handle is, you'd think that it would be back heavy because obviously we've got the engines and the wings and everything behind there. But actually it's not, you know, it's actually very evenly balanced, you know, when you're holding it, it doesn't tip any way, actually. So that's, that's actually very cool. Uh, on the wings we have, we have this pod thing, which we've never ever seen used, but it's still nice to have it. And that does open like so. There's no studs in there, it's just plates. That is a sticker, by the way, I like the way they've done it to sort of coincide. Just like, you know. Yes, I know that technically this laser cannon is pointing upwards as opposed to forwards, but you know, I didn't expect Lego to like print a whole other thing just for this. That is a sticker. I like its design. On the back, uh, it is black to make it look more realistic, and it does look more realistic. I definitely do love that. It's just like a black plate thing. This bit. You can see here, okay, this bit you can lift up, like so, and there's a quite a big room in there, quite a lot of room, to put guns or anything, because obviously the um, pilot come here, comes with a little gun, and you can stick that in there, obviously, when he's flying. But in actual fact, I don't know how the pilot would ever get up there, so it's kind of inaccurate, I suppose. But, you know, there you go. So you can put that down. This turret does go all the way. It's the same as like a barnacle or hair factory piece that they use. Go all around. So, this, like the old gunship, does fold down. Which is very simple. Just do, 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 do. And out comes. I think this feeder is very similar, if not the same, 
to the one we got in the Droid Escape, to the Stormtrooper Road. I think you can guess how they work. You know, the figures just sit on there. It's ridiculous light. Yeah, and they obviously just hold that and whatever, and we stick that back. And it does slide, it does have. See? So just slide it on. Okie dokie. Inside, take this out. You can kind of see the amount of room you have there. You know, you could just replace these tile pieces with just like stud and um, white plates so that to even increase the amount of capacity you could have. I think it looks cooler this way, however, you know, that does mean less troops can get in it easier. Something like that. Um, oh gosh, this is going to be difficult. Okay. Um, oh gosh. There. Do you see? Oh. Never mind. I literally can't do this at all. This is impossible. This isn't going to work for me. Okay, never mind. Let's just say inside, in uh, here. Oh my god. This review is just not going my way. Uh, I've dropped the thing on the floor now. Okay, you do get a box. Which is this piece on top is white. And inside there we have a blue holocron. Lego seems to be putting holocrons in a lot of their sets. So yeah. So this review is going on forever, but there's so much to do. And that just goes in. Please work for me. Oh god. Okay, I'm going to take this out, actually. Do you see that box thing, if I zoom in? See that box? That place? You can easily just stick the box in there. I see easy, that's where it's going to go. Now that we have this off, I can show you it. Same sort of design. Take this down, and it can go up and down. And you can put a figure on there, I'm not going to do that right now. And you can attach them to the controls. Like so. Yeah, and you get this piece which you can. Oh, I can't. Okie dokie. And that means you can go in any direction. Clean back in. And you also get this little door. Well, it's not actually a doorway, it's not open by the way, that thing here. This thing doesn't just open. There's also a little like hat. Where there's a ne more extra space here. Mm -hmm. well, there's so much stuff. Okay. The cockpits do open. I'm only going to show you one. And there's just tiling on that floor. Nothing there. I oh, no, wait, there is. There's two studs at the back. That black piece, which you literally just can't see at all. But the other studs, uh, I mean, the other thing's just a tile. That is a sticker. And the same on this one. They open, you know, very widely. Unlike the first one, well, the second gunship we got, it doesn't have the red stripe, which I think is accurate on the top. I don't know why, it just sort of doesn't. Whew. Uh, yeah, it does have... Oh, it does have the two, you know turrets which go all the way around and as I showed you the one on the back and it does have these fit fire missiles up here now you're meant to only put like four on each side even you can go put five one on each side is blue the stud and three are green however you do get two green and two blue in this one, so you can customise that however you want. Maybe you can put another blue in the bottom, or another green, or whatever you want to do. You do get more. Oh my gosh. Yeah, uh, I think that's the entire review. Oh, gotta get this review, it's gonna be so long. Okay, 
comes with two instruction manuals. I'm sort of trying to rush this now. Um, it has nine bags, which is kind of ridiculous. Nine bags. I know that it just goes on. Seeing all about that, I don't really know what this is. Just sort of a minifigure wall, mini one. On the second instruction, we have all the sets, which I'll be getting all of them. We have this, you know, Jabber's sail barge thing. I think that's the poster that comes with it. And we have all the three stuff went through. That. Oh my days. Yeah, handle. That opens. That opens. We have missiles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. That was so long. Now onto the box. We haven't even finished off of the box. So. The box, okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way. The box is massive. And as it does say, a poster inside, which I'll be showing you in a minute. Whew, okie dokie. We get two Sue Bad Joys, as I showed. Clinch of a Captain, a Pilot, everyone Kenobi, Pepe, Anakin. All episode two. As, I, as I've said before, and close to inside, as I've said before, all these things, and they're just all repeated on the top. Do, 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 do. Oh. Okay. We've got dimensions of the thing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't show you the right way up, I'm sorry. I just can't. Okie dokie. And yeah. Oh. And that's them fighting the battle choice. As I've said before, I wish it came with another pilot and another clone trooper. Like just a normal clone trooper. That would have been more accurate. But you know what you're going to do. I mean, the first ever gunship came with like three or four clone troopers. So, I don't know why. They they seem to have st like stopped providing us with clone troopers in ma mass quantities. But anyway, okay. Thanks guys for watching. Sorry this was so long, there's so much to go over and everything. I'm trying to make the HTE one. Oh yeah! Oh my god. Okay, here's the poster. Okay, it's very big. You can't see that. You have the gunship, you have these guys. Bad joys, obviously you have the thing in the background there. You have some more gunships up there. I'm sorry if the glare is too... Yeah. And just the set. See, there's two clangers in there. So, I don't know what that's about. Also, i oh, got to flip it over. We have all the minifigures for 2013 here. I can't go through every single one. Obviously, this is actually very helpful for me because I'm going to be doing the big thing saying what's the best minifigures of 2013. So, that's going to be, this is going to be very helpful. Um, but, yeah, I think you get another one very similar to this in the Jabba's sail barge. So, we're looking forward to that. So, that's the poster. Whew. Okay, sorry, guys, this review was so long. Oh, my God. Okay, guys, so, there you go. This set, definitely recommend it. You have to have it. You know, it's Lego Boy's favourite and it's probably my second favourite ever. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Oh my god, this is nearly half an hour. I'm so sorry for wasting your time. Well, not wasting it, but, you know, using so much of your time. Please, you know, as I said. And next review with HTE. Bye, guys. Oh, gosh.